Hello, this is Stephen Sylvester from EDR Modesso with a CFD tip and trick. I have a simple two-dimensional case here, a pipe bend with some turning vanes in it. And uh, the objective of any CFD simulation is to achieve what we call convergence, irrespective of how simple or complex the case may be. Now, when we say convergence, typically we mean that the solution residuals for the equations that we're solving for have fallen below a preset criteria. Now, in ANSYS Fluent, we have uh, an absolute criteria which is set by default for the equations. Um, and when those residuals fall below that, we say that the solution is converged. Now, in reality, um, all that's happened is these residuals have fallen below that number. It doesn't necessarily mean that your solution variables have stopped changing. So if we want to be thorough about this, uh, what we also need to do is look at solution variables and look at their behavior as the, uh, as the solver iterates. And in this case, I've plotted to um, the wall shear stress here which would give me a good indication as to whether or not the boundary layer has uh, has stabilized and also the inlet pressure which is um, also a good indication when the the overall pressure drop across the domain has, has stopped changing so what we should be doing when we judge convergence is not simply to look at the residuals we should also be plotting variables of interest and measuring when they have stabilized and only only when those variables have stabilized and the residuals have fallen below the preset criteria can we really say that the, that the solution has indeed converged. Now in ANSYS Fluent, um, and this is 2020 R2, uh, it's very easy to do that. Under monitors over here on the left, we have what we call convergence conditions. And if I just double click that, I can add in additional convergence criteria above the standard residual checking. So I just click the add button there. Um, I've already got a couple of report definitions uh, created here. So the first one is the inlet pressure. There's a stop criteria there. Then it's asking me to enter a value for ignore iterations. Generally, the first few iterations, um, the solution can be doing all, all kinds of things. So we generally want to ignore um, perhaps the first, you know, let's say, 20 iterations. The next one is how many iterations do I want to use to check that the variable has stabilized? And again, a ballpark figure here is around 20 um, for most cases. If that variable is not changing over 20 iterations, then there's a there's a good chance that uh, that it has actually converged. I'll add another one here for the uh, the wall shear stress. Same thing, putting in the same numbers. So having created that, if you look down here where it says choose condition, the solver will only stop when both of those conditions have been met. So the actual solution variables are stabilized, and the residuals have fallen below the the preset criteria. And this is a much more thorough way of judging convergence than just using the residuals on their own. In many cases, you, you will find that even if your residuals have come down, um, the solution variables that you're interested in are, are, are still changing. So if I just click on OK, and I'm just going to run this through again now. It's, uh, it's a very quick simulation to run, and we can, we can see what happens. So if we look at the first few iterations, um, the variables are quite erratic until they begin to sort of stabilize and the solution becomes on track to achieve convergence. And again, with the inlet pressure, we see a similar thing here. So it's beginning to stabilize now and we see the residuals are coming down nicely. And if you look in the console window, Okay, it's decided that that's converged. If you look what's happened, where it says solution is converged, that means that the residuals have fallen below the criteria, but also it's checking the solution variables right here. So the first one is telling me that the inlet pressure has converged, and then it's telling me that the wall shear stress has converged. So that's really the thorough way of checking convergence. You should always check your residuals, but don't rely on them exclusively. You must check solution variables and check that they have stabilized um, to give you the confidence that, that your solution has uh, reached the highest accuracy that, that, that you can have. Thanks for watching this tip and trick, and I hope you found it useful.